Hello, and we are back almost three years later, and I'm going to finally do a follow-up review of the Smart Things Smart Hub, and kind of give you guys an overview of how I've been using it, the pain points, um, things that I would like the system to do, and things that the system does pretty well. Now you're going to have to bear with me because I'm printing some stuff, so uh, it's going to be a little noisy. Anyway, let's get to it. Yeah, so I've been using the system exclusively for three years. Um, been using the smartphone application, uh, you know, in bed, um, changing thermostats, turning on and off lights. Uh, when I've been outside shoveling and I don't want to go back inside and turn on the floodlights, it's nice to just open the phone and turn on the floodlights. Simple things like that in terms of remote controlling. I installed a few Z-Wave switches out in my garage so I can turn on my garage uh, lights when I'm out there. Um, they don't have any physical switches. They are uh, the switches that you plug into the wall and you control remotely. Um, other than that, really no complaints. They've uh, at this point still been updating the uh, the, har the software for the hardware. Um, no really big gripes in terms of downtime. Uh, there was a couple stints where I couldn't connect uh, to my phone, but I was always notified uh, in the event that there was a connectivity drop. But let's talk about connectivity. Um, as everybody knows, um, and if you don't, uh, Z-Wave uh, operates on a mesh networking capability of the devices. So the more Z-Wave devices that you have, the better mesh network that you have uh, within your home. So if you only have a lamp on one side of the house and on the other side of the house you have another switch, you may or may not be able to reach it. Um, Z-Wave, uh, I believe on the radio frequency that it is, actually has really good wall penetration, unlike Wi-Fi. Uh, being that it's on the lower uh, megahertz range. So uh, it being a lower frequency and not a high frequency, like a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz signal uh, from Wi-Fi, you do actually have a lot better wall penetration. But that really honestly only came into an issue for me when I was trying to connect to things out in my garage. Um, obviously, I have a detached garage, uh, two-car garage, so there's no real device that goes in between my house and the garage itself. So connectivity was kind of spotty, it kind of depended on the day if it was going to work or not, but uh, knock on wood, it's been working pretty decently uh, for the past four or five months, so no complaints there. Thermostats um, have been giving me a little bit of a guess. Uh, I think it's just because of the models that I bought. I think they, they're called C100s, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, the models that I got were kind of knockoff models. Um, I got two of them uh, where I actually have three thermostats that I do need to control, but I do have the two, so it's a three range system. Oh, I take that back. What am I talking about? I got three of them. I have two of the same model, but I bought a more expensive option for my first floor that I use more frequently. Um, and I don't fault smart things for this at all. Um, I believe it's the device uh, that's, that's the issue in terms of being able to uh, correctly control it. Um, the UI controls for the thermostats are great, and we can get to that, I guess, right now. So it's actually been three years. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. I've been using it for this long. Um, the last smart thing, or not smart thing, but the last smart hub that I had, which was the Staples Connect, um, they actually went out of business, and um, I had to upgrade the hardware anyway. So uh, I've been using this system. Um, some stuff I've been using very frequently, some stuff I just haven't. Um, not really per se uh, more on the automation side of things but uh, more of the remote controlling thing that I've been enjoying a lot uh, the past three years. So of course you're gonna have to mind my screen looking like it's broke. I actually have one of those ballistics uh, <laughs> covers on it uh, so fear not it is not actually broken I just have ordered a new one I just haven't put it on yet. Uh, so yeah, thermostats, uh, I guess we can just try the, my bedroom thermostat just to give you a, an idea of what the UI now looks like. Um, standard controls, you can actually turn on the heat and the cool settings individually now, which is actually kind of nice. Um, obviously turn it from cool, heat, uh, and auto settings. Right now I actually have it on uh, cool just because the past couple days have actually been pretty, pretty humid. Uh, but it is finally uh, getting a little bit chillier here up in the northeast. But hats off to Samsung and uh, their product line. I mean, uh, all the information that you normally would assume to be there is there. Um, gives you status of the thermostat, it being idle, if it's running. You can turn on the fan um, if you just want to be blowing some air around in the rooms. 
Uh, and depending on the thermostat itself, it actually gives you a uh, humidity sensor, which is actually kind of nice. Sometimes um, it kind of feels kind of up in the air if it's going to update, and I blame the thermostats rather than the hub itself. But sometimes you do, they do have a pull here to update the status, but they also have a refresh button. Uh, sometimes this works and the pull doesn't, and sometimes the pull works and this doesn't. So I just try both all the time. Should actually mention, I actually did grab a few water sensors for my basement and through my preliminary testing of these, uh, they did work. Uh, they have a single cell 12 volt uh, battery in the bottom of them and apparently uh, they're dead now. <laughs> As seen by the red dot, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they did work uh, probably around for maybe six or seven months um, to which I could create a scenario where if they got triggered, it would actually sound my um, my siren alarm. So I knew if, you know, I had a leak in my basement or not. But other than that, it's actually been working pretty well. So uh, here's to another three years. Um, I have no need or want to go to Apple HomeKit or Google Home. Um, I could effectively, I guess, wire in the right things I would need to to talk to Alexa, to turn on lights or whatever else, but I just find it always convenient to have my phone on me anyway. So um, that's it. Three years, still going strong.